What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is uh, doing well and finishing off all their Christmas shopping. Because actually, I just did. I literally just finished. And uh, thank God, because I, I hate Christmas shopping. But I love Christmas. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. Checking out Kane Hill, Kill Me. And to say I'm fired up is an understatement. Because the last song, Power of the High, was a banger. Certified banger. Certified Ron Tomatoes Fresh, whatever you want to call it, super, super good track. You know, it's like metalcore, had like psychedelic elements, but it was, yeah, so it was very unique. And I was high energy, very good riffage, so I'm expecting good riffage here, but I don't know. I really don't know what the, this band's like main hook is. I thought it was psychedelic, but I have no idea going into this. All I know, it's probably going to be a good track. And I feel like I'm just kind of recycling the same words at this point. So that's enough chit chat. So let fuck do it. Go. Oh, that whammy, man. bro a twist directed by M. Night Shyamalan dream seeker okay all right 
So, yeah, another banger from Kane Hill. You know, this song was interesting because uh, going into it, I did not know what to expect because their last song was very riffy. This was a different kind of riffy. It was very, like, chuggy. But I, I appreciated that the chugginess wasn't just relying on zeros and ones. Like, he was going back and forth between those notes, like, pretty much the whole time. And I thought the drum playing was really cool. Like, oh, man, I don't know what actual symbol he was hitting for, like, the verses. But just hitting the bells kind of sound was, like, instead of doing, like, a hi-hat or something, I thought it was just a cool idea because it just sound really good with those chugs. Vocals are really good. This band just has a lot of energy you know it's a bit of new metal vibe with like uh hardcore metallic hardcore kind of energy and i think this band is just really good in terms of just keeping the energy high and uh doing unique parts that like kind of throw you off so even okay the guitar work uh there was times where like the whammy was just going off like you could just hear the whammy going uh in the intro definitely in the out outro as well so i thought that was a really cool inclusion it's not like the main focus too if you're just like if you're paying attention like it's there right but yeah and the breakdown went hard too it had like a bit of an industrial vibe as well so this band is like very unique it's hard to kind of categorize them because it's not if i call it metalcore i feel like that's not doing it justice it could be new metalcore or, or sub i don't know man it's cool but yeah i totally dig it vocals were great energy was high didn't really hear the bass but you know what that's typical metalcore affair but yeah guitar work like i said loving the whammies loving the rhythms in it uh drum playing was fantastic vocals are great too the variety in vocals you know the girl that they had in the music video i wish they incorporated her vocals a little bit more throughout the song i thought that would because like that intro had me hooked but the fact that you know didn't hear those vocals again for the rest of the song was a little bit of a letdown but that's just like a, a nitpicky thing because who did they add it for the music video i don't know but music video was cool too. I like Power of the High a little bit more because the psychedelic elements and the riffiness. Um, also, I just felt like, you know, the energy of that song was a little bit more up to my speed. I felt like some of the components of that song hooked me a little bit more than this song. However, this song was still a killer track. Definitely vibing with this band now. Like, call me a fan because I'm digging everything that I'm hearing from Kane Hill. Uh, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Kane Hill Kill Me. If you guys got a song recommendation for me, then comment down below. Spice up my life. Uh, you know, there's only so many songs because it's almost end of year. I'm doing my top 10 list. So if you have like that one remaining song for me to check out, leave a comment down below. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.